Starting off, we've got a... Oh, this is not looking like the way I thought it would. We got a, a big ass in television. Model 1, I, and I think it's one of the earlier models just because it's heavier, but uh, I don't know if that's any way to judge. I found this, and I found a HD graphics Model 1. Yeah, and then there's and something. Then. Um, so what would you do on that? Uh, 15? Five, yeah. Okay, cool. The guy only wanted uh, 10 for the Genesis and the Intellivision. The odd part is, it had a big bag of uh, games and accessories. I didn't even really look inside. I, I left, I wanted to be excited about what I could find inside this bag. Obviously, we got a Sega Gen, well, not obvious, there might not be a Sega Genesis. Mousetrap, the uh, overlays. Actually, this is working out better just because of the angle, the card edges. Triple action. Kind of curious what the action is in that game. Another football. I'm looking at the camera screen. I'm not even looking in the bag. Not Shack food. Snafu. Pitfall. Look at that label. Activision wants to set itself apart yet again. That's pretty. I'm gonna put that there. So for 15 bucks, Genesis and television and all these games. I mean, the television doesn't seem like it's never been my bag, you know. Like, I, I just didn't want to start building a library for it. <sighs> There's probably some really exclusive, some exclusive game out there that I'm missing out on. Well, I, I was looking on eBay, and without the games, it's eight. I was. Uh... 70 bucks? <laughs> Something like that? Yeah. For old Nintendo shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I play uh, Game Boy, Nintendo, Sega, like all the cartridge stuff. Have you got any of that? No. All right, so this next one we've got Dreamcast, controllers, cables, and all these games. I don't think I spoiled anything by rotating them in. Because th these are 14, and then this you'd say 25, so it would be 39. Um, I was thinking more like 25, 30 for everything. Okay, let's go 30 for everything because some of the okay. stuff probably yeah, yeah. some of the stuff probably doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd pay you 20, but I'll pay you 25. Yeah, I wish you could see this guy. He looked like Al Franklin. I don't, Al Franken. I don't think I got his face on film. It actually sounded kind of like him too. Games were kind of scuffed up. He wanted to get like 40 dollars at first, but I think he he said I'll give it to you for 30. And I was like, I could do 20, 25, and, but I'll give you 25 because the discs are scratched. And he, he just sort of went along with it. So, uh, and they are pretty scratched. Just some, some giant glare, but this is pretty scuffed up. Star Wars Pod Racer, solid game, college football. Got a demo disc, Raider Rumble Boxing, Hydro Thunder, demo disc sleeve, NFL 2K1. Now we got some DS stuff here. Diamonds, Pearl, another diamond, yeah. With everything. What was that? Soul Silver. <laughs> I don't even think I remember that. I don't, I don't know why I picked this up. I mean, I, I, I'm, yes, I'm into the Monster Truck games, but I think I'm like, it needs to be like Wii, PS3, and beyond for me to enjoy. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can get into the older stuff. Uh, I got Mario Galaxy because my older sister's kids have a Wii, so I've been I've been picking up some some Wii games for them. I gotta D James that though before I give it to them. Mario Golf, Mario Kart, Double Dash, and one more. Rush 2049, which is actually a really good game. Play the Stun Arena. So that's how I was thinking this was going to work, you know? But, uh, leave it to the last one to actually, to actually, you know, convey the idea I was going with. I wonder how many people tried this before they put up the sign. The funny thing is that uh, it's at that huge neighborhood, 50 houses. A guy actually tried to sell me one of these for $70 earlier today. Actually, it was a, a black and white version. A few hours later, I'm at the, the Goodwill buying one for 4 bucks. Says A and B buttons, no worky, and has a well-worn copy of Super Mario Land 2. But I, I love, uh, I love the artwork on here. I, I have to think like, you know, this is a kid who got really bored one day and decided to 
you know, put his put his love of Tigger into his, his Game Boy Color, wishing that there was some Tigger edition or something. I don't know. Either way, I, I bet I can get those A and B buttons working again just by rubbing some uh, alcohol on them. I don't know if it works yet. I haven't, I haven't even put batteries in it. Or maybe they were in there. It's out there. Now go get it.